Hey everyone, welcome back to Safety Optional. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. And if you're a long time viewer, thank you very much for watching. We're back tonight working on our Jeep MJ Comanche V8 swap project. The goal for tonight is to get that V8 engine in here in a semi-permanent condition. We're gonna to try to test fit and mount the exhaust manifolds, the accessory brackets, and the transmission mount. So we've got a lot of work to do tonight but I think we can achieve it. We're also trying a new format with how we're gonna do the video, and we've upgraded our audio equipment, so hopefully that improves the quality of the video. If you like what you see, comment down below and let us know what you think. Let's get started. One thing that's really cool that Eric's done is put the little dollies underneath the, the, uh, the Jeep truck so we can roll it around the shop floor here. All right, so what do we got here? These are, those are spacers. So this is a spacer, Holly spacer kit for the driver's side bracket, the passenger side bracket. They make a nice product here. Okay. Yeah, we... Not a use, <laughs> use, <laughs> yeah, right. If only. If, if you're watching, Holly, you can, you know. Yeah, if you want. We're always looking for help. Right. That's oh, nice man. casting there. That looks like an investment casting even. That's not a sand casting, that's pretty nice. So for people that don't know, it's not billet. <laughs> This is not, not billet, billet. even though it's billet. got pretty machining on it. Yeah, that is nice. That's nice yeah, let's hope these fit and weren't a complete waste of time. Ooh. But they look very nice. Yes, I don't want to have to return them. I also don't want to waste $400. Okay, since the last video, Eric scrapped the Tahoe, got rid of it, right? Trashed it and got a couple hundred dollars I, for it. No, I was just retarded and didn't take it right. <laughs> I tried to take a video, it was funny. He balled the grabber up in a fist and, <laughs> <laughs> and by the time I left the scrap yard is about that tall. Nice. <laughs> so you scrap that, we got you got a little bit of money for that to offset the cost of the uh, Tahoe and the engine. Two hundred whole dollars. <laughs> so you got you got two hundred dollars for scrap. Well, hang on. It was a thousand dollar for that. You got two hundred dollars for scrapping it. You got a couple hundred bucks for the tailgate okay. and the wheels. Fenders. Uh, fenders. Uh, well, yeah, no, I, you I, sold I, the I sold the fender for like fifty bucks. I sold the wheels for one hundred and fifty, I think. I can't remember. I have it in a spreadsheet. Well, and us. way back, back over there in the corner, we've still got the doors got, yeah. and the front right fender. Got to, I've got to lead on. And the then door. over in the corner, we've got the hood still. So we've still got more parts that we can sell to generate money to offset the cost. By the end of this thing, the engine itself could end up being free. Zero. Now all the all of this stuff, all of this stuff is what's <laughs> going to be the real cost. Yes. $500 for the engine harness, which is on its way. Say again, what was the bracket kit here? 400 bucks for both. 400 bucks for this bracket kit. Couple and then bucks for the engine mount. 80 bucks yeah. for the manifolds. And let me show you these guys, uh, exhaust manifolds. <laughs> so here are the exhaust manifolds. And these are from a Camaro. early 2000s Camaro. And these should work just like uh, we talked about last time. We'll find out because we're going to mount them up here in just a minute. These will have to be blocked off. Yep. Yeah, because most of them are threaded. One thing that's really cool that Eric's done is put the little dollies underneath the the, uh, the Jeep truck so we can roll it around the shop floor here. Our next step is going to be to get the gantry crane over and pick the engine up and move it to where we can work on it and mount the manifolds to it. So we're mounting up the accessory brackets and we've got them mounted to the engine. They're all on there. 
Well, they're on there. And then we had to get spacers that go back behind. But they're mounted. We've got the alternator test fit. It needs, I think the spacers it needs a right. little bit of clearancing here to be able to, for the bolt to line up completely. But we've now discovered that the, the uh, power steering pump that came with it will not fit. We're going to have to get a different power steering pump. We know we needed to change the water pump. We're going to go ahead and change that. Here in a minute, I'll test fit the air, uh, air conditioning compressor. And then uh, Gusto and Matt are going to go to the parts store and get some other parts for us. All right, so Matt and Dr. Colin, AKA RC Gusto, just went to the parts store to get whatever we think we can make work tonight on here. So Eric and I are gonna take the water pump off since we're expect expecting a new water pump. So we're just gonna goof around and take the water pump off and see what we see. All right, it'll probably upset Gusto and Matt, but I'm going to do this without them. I'm going to just put the exhaust man bolt. I've already got one drop down in there. Oh, mother of pearl. It's so close. But it's not fitting. Dude, this side. This side Evan of the steering shaft is in the way to get it even in there. Oh my gosh, it is so close. So close, it's gapped out and it's hitting predominantly right there on the frame rail, just a hair. This side might need to be snaked in from the, uh, from the bottom. Yeah. I don't even know if you could though. All right, show me. Yeah, maybe I can. There's just too much crap in the way. This Let's see if we can feed it up from the bottom. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, that worked, right? Except. Oh, it's so freaking close. Let's see. Again, it's it's hitting the frame. I don't want to have to grind on the frame. I don't really like no, that no, idea. No, 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 no. So hang on just a second. Let me get a close up here and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, we're test fitting the exhaust manifolds that we've got. It is just so, so close. It is right at the holes. The problem is down inside, down here, if you see the triangular part of the... Uh, Flange. The flange, yeah, thank you. It's hitting the frame rail. I think the solution, although I hate to say pulling the freaking engine back out, is gonna be a sledgehammer. I bet we can sledgehammer those enough that these will fit. This thing is, it, it's right, it's right there. It is right there. It literally needs to be beat back less than half an inch clearance. Right down there. You can see right there. So that one, is good. I think we need to go ahead and take the heat shields off temporarily just so we can see better. But I think that, that one, this one, this one will work. So let's go to the other side. Okay, good. All right. So on the passenger side, I'm not the right person to be. That's all right. It is so close, but it looks um, right there. You can see where it's hitting. Right where? Right there. Same thing. Yeah, it feels like it's hitting a little bit down here, but I think it's this heat shield, so I'm gonna take that heat shield off. But we need the heat shield anyway. No, I mean, I'm gonna take it off for now. The heat shield's easily bent if that's Although, the problem. <laughs> this is the problem there, it's hitting the frame. And that's where other people have had to clearance their frame. A sledgehammer will fix that. Yeah, it needs to tip. It needs to tip this way. Yeah, you can see it right there. And you can see it's gapped out here. Hey, we should, we should mark that with chalk or something. Well, that's we what I was just saying. Out. We need to, before we pull it out, we need to mark it with Sharpies. I'll 
All right, let's try it again. This time without the heat shield. Oh yeah, we're totally there, totally there. It's hard to see. Yeah, it just needs to be clearanced right there, but it's, it's there. So we got our power steering pump. There we go, power steering pump. As that is the right one. From a 97 up Corvette. Corvette, mm -hmm. as per the instructions on the Holly. Okay, so a power steering pump from a 97 and up Corvette. We've got a, we have a tensioner. About, uh, how much was all this cramp? Belt tensioner. $500. You, you got the receipt, right? Yeah. We have, have two of these. We have two of them. Okay. One on each side. Are they both the same? Both same. Okay. We have, now this is the mod, because the you, have, you can either use an LS3 water pump with the truck harmonic balancer, harmonic balancer. or for $350. That's how much of the water pump for those. Or wow. you, could, you could get an LS1 water pump for, what was it, 139 139 with, with the... Corvette, 97 Corvette harmonic, harmonic balancer. Uh, so we have a new balancer. Look at that. And LS1 pump. 97 Corvette harmonic so balancer. For I didn't realize that was a harmonic balancer. For, oh yeah. For 200 and uh, isn't there? So that's 210 dollars total. Isn't there a special way to install that? Uh, that yep. Big old bolt right there. Yep. We'll show you. Big ass bolt. Yeah, but you got to stop the motor from coming out. No, it's, it's not that hard. You rattle gun it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that wow. water that pump. That is a big ass pulley on that thing. Yep. So what water pump is this? This is LS1. LS1 water pump. So what is an LS1? And it goes a 97, like uh, this. No, no, 97 Corvette. So it's largely the same, but a little bit different. <clears throat> That's a little bit different. That will give uh, us. That was that SS Camaro that came out. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Boys, that's a lot of money yeah, right there. 500 bucks. <laughs> Could have been worse. But you know what? We're making progress! Okay, here's a quick update on where we stand so far. What time is it? 8.40. 8.40, so we've been here since about 5.30, 6 o'clock. So, we've got the Holly High Mount kit installed. We've got the water pump off. We've yeah, tested the exhaust manifolds, and we know where we need to massage the frame a little bit. And the, the high mount is definitely right. Yeah, Down in there. The other one can, and then on the other yeah. side, needs a little bit of massaging deep down in there where you can't really see. Oops. Right down in there. So yeah, we're making progress. And then we've got $500 worth of new parts to put on it. So, progress is being made for certain. This is awesome. And we've learned the trick, uh, another trick to the motor mounts because that motor mount there, we need to undo the bolts and fly it in and out without that plate on there. So, we're learning and we're making progress. Time for more time lapse. Doctor is uh, getting ready to operate here, even though you're not a surgeon. I'm not a surgeon. I thought you said. I did it from the ground, Colin. I got. I felt better on the ground. So, all right, Doctor, hang on. Right there. And I would come around the front. It's right here. Right here? Right there. Lower. That ought to be right about there. Go ahead and give it a little bit uh, more forward. There. Stop. 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 Stop.
Holy crap, look at all the debris in the wall. <laughs> Back when it ran to me, Go ahead. All right, so we've now hammered yeah, in the frame rails. We've hammered in the frame rails and hopefully made enough clearance to allow the uh, manifolds to perfectly fit in there. We're gonna put the engine back in, we'll see. All right, so they're, they're test fitting the power steering pump. And while they're test fitting the power steering pump, I've been underneath here, oh, mocking up the transmission mount. As you can see, got the transmission on a transmission jack there, supporting it up in there. And now I'm figuring out how we're going to do a new mount. We're going to have to play with the room we've got up there for all our mounts and everything. I'm going to lower this down a little bit in just a second. And we'll get this to where we can build a riser that goes from these bolts here up to these two bolts here. Okay, I think that gives me plenty of room to work around there. And Plenty room to work here. So now I need to get that mount bolted back up there. I'm bushy now. All right, so that's so this is the Jeep, a Jeep motor mount that we have. Oh, you can put it in there the other way, yeah. And yeah, that might work better. I don't know. Now the uh, only problem is it's got to go from something's got to go but that's from here easy. up to here. Yeah. We just yeah, stick a plate bushes. on there and. You need pipe? Can you just bushes? There's two bolts, bolts for that. And we'll that. have to decide how high to make it. It needs to be like a quarter inch plate that has some angle that comes up and hits that right there. All right, so what we're going to do is we've got all the brackets that we can mount up. Mount up. We returned the water pump because it was the wrong one. We don't want to change our harmonic balancer and, and readjust all the, the spacers. So we'll get the right water pump ordered. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to do that. But we want to clean the engine compartment, clean the engine thoroughly, and be able to get it where it's nice and clean. This thing looks pro. So we're going to pull it out. We need to do a slight, tiny bit of massaging over on that side, just to make sure we got clearance so when the engine shakes, when it revs, that it, the uh, exhaust manifold won't be banging the frame rail. So we're going to pull it out for the last time for a while. Next time it goes in, we'll be staying in for quite a while. Um, so, time to pull it yet again. That'll do it. All right, tonight we got a whole lot of work done on this thing. We got the engine stuck in. We checked it for clearance for the intake manifolds. We got all the accessory mounts put on. Several runs to the parts store. Chest fit a few things. We know what we need to order now to make the actual accessory drive work, but the mounts that we have, the Holly high mount system, works. Then we test fit the manifolds off of the Camaro. Needed a little bit of clearancing on the frame rails. We ground a little bit on the flanges and then hammered on the frame rails. Now those things fit perfectly. We also took some measurements and figured what we need to do for the cross member. That'll come next time. So we made a boatload of progress. This thing is really uh, coming into focus. So uh, in our next episode, we'll have the wiring harness here. We can start taking a look at that. The water pump we need will be here. And in the meantime, hopefully Eric's going to completely clean the engine compartment and the engine to make it look nice and clean like it needs to. 
and we'll start figuring out other things like fuel system, air conditioning system, coolant system, all those things that we need to be able to make this thing actually run. And then of course after that it's drive shaft, getting the, you know, all the other stuff to work, but we're, we're making a lot of progress. So tune in next time. Thanks for watching.